It's been a really exciting year uh, for immunotherapy and non-small cell lung cancer. I think probably the most impactful results from the past year have been with the tezolizumab and resected non-small cell lung cancer. Um, you know, the ability to improve um, patient outcomes can be truly impactful, increasing the proportion of patients who actually benefit from a cure um, from their surgical resection as opposed to, um, to unfortunate uh, disease recurrence. Um, so specifically in, in patients with resected non-small cell lung cancers, um, there was a benefit with regard to disease-free survival, which is most pronounced in the pd one positive population. Atezolizumab is actually approved in a pd one greater than 1% population, but if you look at the data um, from the Empower clinical trial, the benefit is actually the greatest in the pd one percent or more population. With that being said, um, I do tend to incorporate atezolizumab um, and have that discussion with, with patients with stage two or more resected non-small cell lung cancer. Um, and, and I typically will focus that discussion in patients with a PD-01 1% or more.